Hey guys, this production music live with a very quick tutorial and a friend of mine was asking me if I could cut a song for him because it's like five minutes long and he needs it four minutes or something and if I could find parts that are that can be cut out without really noticing the difference when listening to a song. So um, those are the instructions. The suggestions are after half a minute we try to take this area and take half the duration and then from 150 to around 225, maybe cut something out if it doesn't fit, optional. And in the end, from 432 to 448, cut something in half. We'd like to have it around four minutes instead of 511. Uh, so let's try to do that with Ableton um, and quickly load the track. We're talking about this track and I'm dragging it into my Ableton quickly. And it's an mp3 file, it's just encoding over here. Let me just put those away now and go into full screen mode. And here we go. This is what Ableton decoded from this file. So whenever you load an audio file into Ableton on an audio track, you need to check one thing first because Ableton warps long files. So let's go into this file and you see it's in warp mode active over here and it has pre-selected the algorithm beats. Let's select a better algorithm called Complex Pro and we need to check if the algorithm actually did a really good job over here. So let's scroll in and find bass drum beat parts, I tend to look for the transient of a clear kick start for a new bar and after eight bars at bar nine we can see over here there's a kick and it's a little bit off the bar. In order to be cutting really correctly, if we set this up correct we have a lot less work when cutting. So let's do it completely right and exact. Click on this locator, right click set one one here and now it starts at this position and let's check in the back if it still fits here it's looking pretty good i gotta say we could adjust a little bit over here but usually those things aren't a real problem so this is warped pretty nicely already Okay, and now we can go back with this locator, eight bars, and you see just this start off over here was a little bit too much, and we can start right here, and we have a pretty nicely fitting audio warping. And now we put the locators up to something like this. We take care of the outro later and we can work with this audio file like this. It starts now right here and after exactly eight bars it will start with the kick and let's call this set one one here again. So now everything is in order and we can go here on this track I'm closing it down here and put it on on the first bar because we have those time informations from my friend and we can now check down here at what minute is, is happening what so 32 seconds we got to do something 152 we got to do something for half a minute and 432 we got to do something for 15 seconds so let's go back into the project and put locators on there. After 32 seconds, something's supposed to happen. So let's go to bar 17, right click up here, add locator, put in cut something over there. We are also supposed to cut something at around 150, which should be here. You can see here's a break, something's building up and we are kicking in back here. 16 bars, no, eight bars later, we might be able to cut something off. So let's add a second locator here. And also he told us after 4.30, so probably exactly here, something needs to be cut in half. 
So let's add another locator over there. It's the third one. And now he wanted us to cut like 15 seconds and a half in this area. And it seems possible just from the audio, it seems as if this part could be repeating here and maybe we could cut one out. And the same thing seems to be obviously possible over there. And maybe something in the outro, there's always something possible. Okay, so let's listen in, in this part and see what we can do. looks pretty easy to do. Um, we just cut one of those eight bar loops over here and now the obvious thing might be taking this one and just cutting it out by uh, looping the selection and telling it to cut time but what I like doing here is take it this way because over here we already have a prepared transition. They, the producer thought of this transition and built up a little to it and over here as well, but there's nothing specially going on over here. And this is the first part of the eight bar loop and this is the second part. So we can take two and one out of here and just use those, those two. Then we have a smoother transition over here. So let me just cut this time and check this transition. Sounds good to me already. So we already won something like 10 seconds. Let's go to the second cut area. And I think he wrote something about vocals over here. There should be vocals in here. Okay. Since overall he wants to save one minute, I'm going to take out all this part without singing over here. So they are going to sing here, those female voices, and we are going to have some male voices over here, and then we are going to go from break to break. So let me cut this time out and listen in again. <laughs> You could do something with filtering over here, but it seems okay um, to do it like this quickly. And let's go to the back uh, area of the song. We are at 420 right now, and we need to win a little bit of time here still. And let's listen in quickly. Okay, I think we are going to do it a little different over here because we have this drum part here and it's getting very quiet over here, maybe too quiet to start this part over here right after all this action. So um, what I tend to do in this case is duplicate the track, um, kind of cut it here, delete this part and then um, Make this a little shorter and take this part down here Something like this and shorter as well 
and kind of create this sort of transition because then we end up exactly at four minutes and uh, I think for a simple cut this should be okay. It was quite easy to do that over here. We are now exactly at four minutes if we uh, forget about this tail over here. And um, yeah, still need to cut this off. And now we could select all the located area and export it as a new file. That was especially easy because um, this file was already at 120 BPM. If we load it in and it has a different BPM, we need to adjust our project, obviously. But other than that, I think the key to making a good cut and, and saving a lot of time is in the beginning, try to warp it exactly at the right positions and then you can just cut it out and you're done in five minutes. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Subscribe to our channel and see you next time.